Good evening. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, How are you? Good evening. I'm doing awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the answer that I always give. Whenever you ask me, how am I doing, guys? I'm doing awesome. Great. Okay. Okay. How about you? I'm pretty good, teacher. <laughs> good. Okay. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Carla, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Juan, what's up? <laughs> cool. <laughs> How's it going, Juan? Mute. <laughs> hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, nice Juan. To nice to see you again, teacher. Nice to see you again, too, Juan. Great job. Janet? Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? So, very well. Excellent. I'm glad to nice hear that. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Jocelyn, Hector. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, guys, today we're going to move on through the content on your platform. We're studying the models. Today we're going to talk about can, could, may, to make requests or suggestions. Okay, so I'm gonna start right now. Let's start uh, by listening to, watching the, the video so you can become familiarized with the topic, okay? Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. What do you have? Okay, so if you listened, let's try together to build um, some sentences using the models can, could, or may. For example, one. I'm gonna go in order, okay? Let's start with Juan. Uh, como, um, la estructura. Yeah, I need you to create a question using can, could, or may. The structure, there you have the structure. For example, uh, I can say, can you give me more, more classes? For example? Sure, that's the way. Can you give me more classes? Okay, perfect. Or could, could you or can? Perf both, both. Now, okay. what is the difference between can and could? I told you before, what's the difference between can and could? Mm. Con could, no es podría, no. Exactly, the probability. Sí. 
Quién es puede. Puedes. So, listen. ¿Puede dar más clases? ¿O podría dar más clases? ¿Sí? That's the difference. Can is like demanding. Demanding. Can you... If it's different if I tell you, can you be quiet? Or could you be quiet? See the difference? Yes. Yeah, if I tell you, can you stay quiet? The teacher is upset, right? Got it? Yeah, I got it, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if I tell you, may, may you be quiet, please? Permission. Yeah. Or in that case, I, I will have to say, may I ask you, Juan, to be quiet? Puedo preguntarte, Juan, estar en silencio, o sea, que te guarde silencio. It's an example, right? It's an example. Okay. You got it, Juan. Thank you. Janet, please give us an example. What the hell is going on with this thing? Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, before I ask you, is necessary that I that I use how? No. Uh, no. I didn't do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um can I go to a sleep? Can I go to sleep? Yeah. Can I go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Another one? Um, go to um, I don't know now. <laughs> okay, could you give me an example? Could you give me an example? <laughs> you see? It's very simple. <laughs> Just follow follow the structure. Okay, Carla, try it. Uh, okay. Um, may I help you? Oh, may I help you? May I help you? You? Uh -huh. May I help you? May I help you? Yo lo uno. May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Help you? Help you? Help you? Help you? Help you? You got it. May I help you? That's very common. It's very common. A com very common phrase. On the phone, and if you're a clerk in a store, for example, and you're selling clothes, may I help you? Okay, give me another example. Um, could, could I wait? Wait a minute. Um, could I wait? Could, could I wait? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could, why could not? I wait? Yeah, could, could I wait? Could I wait? Could I wait for you? Perfect. Excellent. Could I wait for you? Could I wait here? I wait here. Esta es una casa que no conoces y es como te dicen que esperes. Okay, could I wait here in the living room or yeah? Perfect. Okay, Nuria. Okay, teacher. Can I have uh, eucalypto candy? Eucalypto candies? Can I have eucalypto candies? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. May I, may, may, may I have a cotton box? Yeah, may I have a cotton box? That's at the pharmacy. Okay. Right? Yeah. Could I have oxygen, oxygenated water? Uh, oxygenated water. <laughs> I'm not sure the yeah, pronunciation. Yeah, that's, that's like um, carbonated. Carbonated water. No, carbonated. I think it's I, different between carbonated and, and oxygenated oxygen oxygen water. It's different. Okay, good. It's not the oxygen, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I would say nada. <laughs> well, actually, it's the same. The 
óxido. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, good. Perfect. Okay. Thank now, you. <laughs> just remember, it's not necessary to use have. That's an example. But look at the structure. First, you have the, uh, the model. Then you have the subject. Okay. And then you have the verb. If I, I, if I ask you, um, Hector, can I ask you for a favor? Can I ask you for a favor? Okay. Hector. Yes, teacher. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Can I ask you for a favor? I don't know what is. A favor? Uh, the word. Uh -huh. A favor. Yes. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Hi. Can you ask me a favor? Sure, I can. <laughs> Let me ask you a favor. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you try? Listen, could you try, guys? Uh, Hector? Yes, I could try. Please. Uh, using uh, whatever model. Whatever model you want. Okay. Can, can you speak? Japanese? Oh, but that's a, a question. It's not a request. Well, actually, yes, it is a request. Pay attention. If I ask you, can you speak Japanese? I'm asking you if you are capable of speaking Japanese, but I know that you speak Japanese. So I tell you, hey, can you speak Japanese? Please, can you speak Japanese to this Chinese guy here. <laughs> okay. Si me entendieron el ejemplo? Alguien se perdió? No, no. Yeah. Okay. Good. So intonation is very important. Great job. Can you speak Japanese? Please. Can you speak Japanese? Es un request. Can you speak Japanese, please? Okay. Questions? Okay. So we're talking about models for requests. So when you speak about requests, you have to use can, may, and could. Okay, because if you use should, mm, that's for suggestions, remember? Suggestions, not requests. Do you have any questions? Teacher. Yes. I don't remember what ¿Qué significa request? Request, solicitud, solicitud. Ah, solicitud. Yeah, when you request somebody to do something for you. So, come on, guys, something very useful that you tell me all the time, right? May I go to the restroom? May I go to the bathroom? Janet? May I take your order? May I take your order? Perfect. May I take your order? See? Very simple. Great job. Okay. No questions? Negative. Negative. Okay. Good. So remember, there's a knowledge check about this. And I send you the, um, the chart to your WhatsApp. So let's continue. Now, remember, in this example, you have a listening of four people talking about pharmacists, to a pharmacist, okay? Choose on each person's problem. Choose on each person's problem, okay? Have you done this exercise? No. No? Okay. Please make sure you perform this, the knowledge checks, okay? That's all, okay? Okay, let's move on. Let me see what I send you the WhatsApp. Okay. Oh, okay, what's the other conversation? Good. Okay, let's continue. 
Okay, so there's a conversation tonight and it's called going out for dinner. And then we will talk about so, to, neither, and either. But first, let's see the conversation. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. Well. Okay, so our mission right now is to practice the conversation. I'm going to repeat it for you. So later we will discuss the vocabulary. Pay attention. It says, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Now is your time. Questions. What you, is the meaning of mood? Okay, what is the meaning of mood? Temper. What's your temper? Are you a Animal. mood? Thank you for the Spanish, yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. What's your mood? ¿Cuál es tu ánimo? Now, as an adjective, you can use it as an adjective. Are you a moody person? Okay, moody. Moody. Mecha corta. I'm a moody person. Yeah, you don't know what's their temper. What is their temper? Okay. Are they good tempered or by or bad temper? A moody person? You don't know. Okay? Thank you. They're like gatas and goras, right? Sometimes like don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Any other? Teacher. Hey. What did the mean uh, spicy? Spicy, a lot of chili, a lot of condiments. Condiments. Condiment. Yeah, well, for example, the spicy chicken, spicy chicken of Kentucky. A lot of species. 
Mm. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. A lot of herbs. Any other? Teacher, could you explain us why do you pronounce querer or Excellent. Thank you. Okay, really quick. Hay tres tipos de pronunciaciones de las palabras, de los verbos regulares en pasado. Ok. Son tres pronunciaciones diferentes. ¿Se acuerdan que los verbos irregulares en pasado terminan con ed todo, verdad? Ok. Good. So, hay tres tipos de pronunciación. En el chat, ahí están en el chat de, de Zoom. So, la primera pronunciación es t, 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 t. La segunda es y La tercera es ed, perdón, id o red, red. Ok. ¿Cómo identifico yo eso? Pues la regla de la primera pronunciación de la t dice que si un verbo en su forma base termina sin vibración en tu aparato, por ejemplo, miss, fix, miss the, I miss you, eh? kiss, ok, kiss, fix. No hay vibración con el sonido final de ese verbo en su forma base. Al agregarle ed, solo voy a agregar el sonido al final del verbo. Entonces digo fixed, fixed, missed, kissed, kissed. Ahí está el pollito repitiendo. Perfecto. Kissed. Ok, good. Esa es la primera regla. La segunda regla dice que si el verbo en su forma base tiene vibración en tu, en tu aparato, y espero que se esté fijando en lo que estoy haciendo yo con mi garganta, y que volvás a ver este video para entender esta explicación, si aún no lo entendés. Verbos regulares, en su forma pasada, solo se les agrega ED. Segunda regla, si tenés vibración en la forma base del verbo, por ejemplo, save, hog, frame, en esos tres casos hay vibración al final. ¿Cómo sabes esto? Mantener la pronunciación en la, en la consonante final del verbo. Te va a vibrar el aparato, la garganta o el, la cavidad nasal te va a vibrar. Entonces, si sentís vibración con ese verbo, le agregas ED y suena D. Por ejemplo, los que terminan en VE, los regulares que terminan en VE son los más comunes. No, no. Saved. Saved. Hugged. Hugged. Abrazar. Hugged. Y el otro era framed. Framed. ¿Ok? Esa es la segunda regla. La tercera regla, la que me pregunta, eh, si me olvido el nombre de ella, que se me olvida. Ok. Um, Nuria, okay. Nuria. Nuria, Nuria, thank you, Nuria. Ok. La tercera regla es las dos anteriores. Si el verbo en su forma base, de por sí, termina con el sonido t o d, entonces agrega cd y suena id. ¿Cómo es eso, teacher? Bueno, por ejemplo, add, 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 o want, want, agrega cd y suena added, added, o wanted, wanted. Ahora, en americano, no en británico, decimos wanted. Okay, I wanted to tell you, oye, I wanted to tell you, where was it? Which one was it? Uh, I forgot where it was. Mm, oh, I've always wanted to, wanted to go there. Porque está la T, el sonido T, ahí en medio. Okay. Wanted to, wanted to go there. Entonces la pronunciación se abrevia, Nuria. Y suena más bonito, es como más natural el inglés. Por eso yo siempre les leo, después de, de tener un, un, un texto como este, una conversación, lo primero que hago antes de mandarlos en grupos es que, que escuchen y tratar de darles esa pronunciación. El otro es, where, where do you want to go? Where do, where do, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? En americano te lo diría así, en británico te diría, where do you want to go? <laughs> ok. Bien, miren el video de nuevo 
en YouTube para aprender esas reglas. Si no, vayan a Google y pongan ED Endings. E D Endings. You will find the rules on the pronunciation. It's very important. Y una última cosa. One last thing. And thank you, Nuria, por tocar este punto, porque a este punto, a este nivel intermedio 3, muchos tenemos la dificultad de pronunciación de esos verbos. Pues adivinen qué. Su teacher se les adelantó y en el listado de verbos que les envié, se fijaron que aquí dice irregular verbs. Ok. Y luego tenés, como en la tercera página, regular verbs. Mira. ¿Alguien se fijó que aquí hay pronunciation, termination? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Pronunciación, terminación. Ok, so, esta es la tercera regla. Esta es la primera regla. Ok, y esta es la segunda. So, you say address, addressed. I addressed the problem to her. I asked Nuria, I asked, oigan, I asked, asked, ok, asked, approached, agreed, annoyed, annoyed, ¿sí? Answered, answered, ok, appeared. Y ahí vas, y cada uno tiene su pronunciación al final. Barked, boiled, boiled, ok, and so on. Got it? Ok. Good guys, espero que estén poniendo atención. Eso es muy útil para aprender a hablar súper rápido, ok. Good, so let's continue. I'm going to split the class. And just split the class in little teams so you can practice the conversation, okay? Show me your hand. Show me your hand. Show me your hand. Juan, Juan, nail it. Okay, you got it? You got it? Good. Yes. Okay, I'll yes. leave you. Please practice. Talk, 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 talk. Y aunque yo llegue, no digan, ay, no viene el teacher. Come on, guys. Practice, okay? Let's do it. That chicken. That chicken. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks to you. Fine, I'm fine. It's raining in this moment. Good. Ah, uh, yes, yes. It's very strong. The rain and um, my house. <laughs> And I the conversation, the conversation. is the Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I am Jeff. I start. Mm, say, would no. you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure. With where do you want to do? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for for it tonight. Today. Yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I have always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. And Sofia? Okay. 
I am bored. Say, uh, ah, okay. Okay. Say, uh, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, very good, guys. So let's see, let's practice some of these words. Um, you have, where do you want to go? And I, I was telling you, try try to uh, join the words, okay? So you say, where, I'm sorry, where do, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where, where do, do you want, 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 want to, want to go? go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where, is, where do you want to go? <laughs> Casi. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Quiero que se enfoquen en una cosa, Sofía, Eleonora, Elgardo. Elgardo, if you, if you do this, where do you want to go? To practice. Where do you want to go? Keep your where mouth. Do you want to go? Keep your mouth like this. Where do you want to go? 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 Perfect, Sofía. You see? You got it. Easy. Okay. I'm Where do you want to go? Always try to focus on the T, the T. Not, uh, I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. Try it. I'm not either. I'm, I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. Okay. El punto es que la T suena a R ahí. I'm not, not, not either. I'm not either. Perfect, Edward. I'm, I'm not either. either. I'm not either. I'm not either. Perfect. Okay, and then we have I love it. Le decía yeah. ayer, creo. I love it. Sí, esa IT so, funciona como un objeto, no como un sujeto. Entonces, el IT el, el, ya no es sujeto, es objeto y suena it, it, it. Okay, so you say I love it. I love it. It. I love it. I love it. Let's do it. I love it. Let's do it. Try it. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you go. Cold. Según lo que les expliqué de las pronunciaciones de los ED endings, esa es la segunda regla. Cold. 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 Así como la palabra frío. Cold. Cold. La, mi la misma pronunciación. Cold. Cold. Okay. Cold. Okay. okay. Practice again. Do it again. Okay. Say, say, would, would you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure. Es que terrific sería así como terrorífico. <laughs> no, no. No es como est genial, estupendo. Sigamos porque ya vimos teacher. Estupendo. <laughs> estupendo, eh. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Okay. It's, Hello. Ra it's raining cats and dogs. Yes. Cats and dogs. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here. Forget about me. Okay. Let's practice. Okay. Uh, um, Jeff. Yeah. Um, Bo. Okay. Let's Say. start. Okay. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Japanese food. Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant is here. It's called Airoa. 
Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Vamos. Okay. Vamos. Marilyn, it's Vamos your turn. Comienza, entonces. You are Jeff. Okay. Say, what would you like to go to, to diner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood of it today. Yeah. I am not eating, I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I be always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. Terrific, let's go. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Vanessa, great pronunciation. We just need to work on, on a few things. Um, now, guys, English is all about repetition, repetition, okay? And you need to develop clinical ear. A good teacher has clinical ear and good pronunciation, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you have to practice your audio. So, always focus on the, on the sounds, okay? And then you repeat and try and try to repeat. Listen, uh, you say, I love it. It's not I love it, I love it. No, I love it, it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, I love ahí, it. Ahí ese IT, ya no funciona como sujeto, sino que como objeto. O sea, siempre que va al final de una oración, it, it, no. suena et, et. Por ejemplo, do it, do it, let's do it. I love it, I love it. Ok, um, the word I'm not either, la T entre dos vocales suena a R. Y no me voy a cansar de repetírselos porque es muy importante y se ocupa mucho en los sonidos finales de inglés. I'm not either. I'm not either. Repeat. I'm not either. 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 Ahí está. I'm not either. 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 I'm not either. I'm not either. Si no se te queda y tú poner estás escuchando un audio, intentas repetir y repetir y luego te grabas lo que estás diciendo y lo reproducís al mismo tiempo que lo que estabas escuchando, y no le acertás, puedes ocupar el último recurso, ¿ok? Y decís, either. Y decís, look at the chat. There. Termina en either. I'm not either. ¿Así? I'm not either. There you go. It's the last resource, okay? Solo es pronunciación. Enfóquense que solo es pronunciación. Okay, I'm not really in the mood for it today. I'm not really in the mood for it today. Vanessa, repetir. I'm not either. I'm sorry. I'm not really in the mood for it today. I'm not really in the mood for it today. Perfect. Y ahí está. Escuchas, repetís. Okay, I've always wanted to go there. Let us see. I always wanted to go there. I've always, I've, I've always I've... wanted to go there. I've always wanted to... Ay, me trabé. <laughs> I know. Si se te va a trabar, mira, te vas a pegar mordidas. Yo me pegaba mordidas en los labios cuando estaba pequeño. Intentaba, intentaba, porque quería aprender. Y gracias a Dios lo logré, pero cuesta, ¿eh? I've always wanted to go there. I've always wanted to go there. Ah, casi. Wanted to, wanted to, wanted to. Ay, no, Ay. es que está muy difícil. No, I nada es difícil. Wanted to go there. No, Ay, es que siempre casi. se me sale el tú. A ver, Vane. Wanneru. Wanneru. 
I go always there. want to go no, to there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. No se te quita la preposición tú. Edgar lo hizo. I have always wanted to go there. No, es que no sé. Para mí esas palabras son así como que fuertes. Wanted to. Sí, pero en americano. En Ameri Eso es en británico, Vanessa. Pero en americano la T se pronuncia como R. Como R. Wanted to. No me creas a mí. Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars, When I Was Your Man, Bruno Mars, When I Was Your Man, escucha esa canción bien, te vas a dar cuenta que él hace okay. bastante eso en esa canción. Okay. One little word there. Excellent. I've always wanted, no, no puedo, uh, no me sale. I always wanted to go there. Uh -huh. All my baby wanted to do was dancing, dice Bruno Mars. Wow. All my baby wanted to do was dancing. So, that's the way. Okay, and I think that's Thank it. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, we're coming back. Let's keep going. Hmm. We're missing 14 seconds. Let's wait for the rest. Janet, do you have any questions? Oh, okay. Okay, good. <laughs> the microphone, Janet. <laughs> Only for the pronunciation about... Uh-huh. Wait. Wanted. Wait, 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 wait. God, I missed it. What pronunciation? What part? Pronun pronunciation. Pronunciation. I like it. Uh -huh. Want. Want it. Want it. Want it. Want it. Oh, mira, hay tres pronunciaciones de esa palabra. Le voy a hacer maruchan el cerebro ahorita, ¿ok? Wanted. Wanted. Es la gramaticalmente apropiada. Wanted. Y... Y la británica me atrevería a decir, aunque algunos londinenses dicen wanted. Pero en americano, wanted es lo que ocupa el FBI para referirse a alguien buscado. The most wanted. most wanted. ¿Se acuerdan del programa? ¿eh? Most wanted. The most wanted. A song of, a song uh -huh. of Snoop Dogg, the two American most wanted. The American most wanted. wanted. Uh -huh. Okay. De Benny Fred Pitt, me recuerdo. De, de Brad Pitt. Need for Speed. Oh, Need Most for Speed. Want. Most Wanted, yes. ¿Se acuerdan? Ahí dicen Most Wanted. Y en este caso, sure. por, uh, ¿sí? Yes. What, what is the correct pronunciation? The correct, there's no correct pronunciation, but what I'm teaching you is American English. So, what is the American English pronunciation? It will be wanted. 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 Yeah. Ahora, suena, okay. esa, suena a re, re, re en este ejemplo porque viene con el to después, con un infinitivo, to go. Entonces, se une wanted to go porque no me voy a cansar de repetirles que la T se convierte en R entre dos sonidos vocales. Wanted to, wanted to. We wanted to go there. I Perdón. Wanted to go there. Uh -huh. Cuando va el go to también es go to, ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces se podría, se podría pronunciar, oh, lo ves always, eh, wanted go to there. No, sí. así. <risas> go to there, no, porque no iría ahí la proposición, uh, pero sí le comprendo to. a la perfección su ejemplo. Go to. 
Ajá, go to. ¿Cómo lo utilizaríamos? I've always wanted to go to the beach. Go to the beach. Go to the beach. I've always wanted to go to... I always wanted to go to the beach. Perfecto. Ahí sí. Going to go... Uh, going, go to... Uh -huh. Si fuera go to the beach, go to the church, go to the supermarket. Perfecto. Buen ejemplo. ¿Ok? Si ¿Sí se entendió eso, estás entre dos vocales, la T suena a R. ¿Ok? Leave it there. That's American pronunciation. ¿Ok? Ok. Le ponía el ejemplo a Vanessa para los que estamos más pollones todavía, somos bichos. Eh, Bruno Mars. When I was your man. Es. Así se llama la canción. When I was your man. All my baby wanted to do was dancing. Dice. All that my baby wanted to do was dancing. Dice la canción. Was dance. Okay, so that was an example. Let's move on. So now let's look at the explanation of how we use so, so, neither, and either. I repeat, so, so, do, do, do neither, 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 and either, and neither, either, either, either. either. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. So... Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. Okay, I want you to notice two things. There's a lot of examples, a lot of uh, things involved in this lesson. Hay muchas cosas aquí involucradas en solo esta lección. So hay que volverla a ver y asegurar dónde aprender lo que se está hablando. A ver, en este ejemplo, alguien, quiero asegurarme que ustedes están entendiendo lo que se está diciendo, chicos, porque es muy importante. So... ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta en este ejemplo? ¿Qué fue lo que dijo Jessica? El to and so is for a short answer. A short answer. Perfecto, Janet. Thank you. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué es lo que se está explicando acá? ¿Por qué salió el I am hungry? Dijo, se ocupa el auxiliar de lo que se me está diciendo. Es decir, I am hungry, voy a contestar, I am too, o so am I. I love apple pie. Están ocupando presente simple. I do too. So do I. Puedo contestar como I do too o so do I. Son dos opciones siempre. I am too, so am I. 
I do too. So do I. Y con el auxiliar, sigo con el auxiliar. I can play chess. Okay, I can too. So can I. Y si dijese, I could play chess, ¿cómo sería entonces? I could play chess. I could. Entonces cuando se ocupan modales, siempre se va a decir la modal. Correcto. Cuando es verbo to be, se va a decir el verbo I to be. Too. Y cuando es otro verbo, se ocupa el do como auxiliar. Cuando es una acción, correcto, Héctor, muy bien. Entonces, ¿cómo sería si fuese Héctor, si dijese, I could play chess? I could play chess. Uh -huh. eh, I could do. Perfecto. O? I do do. So could I. So could I. So could I. Ok. Y se te dijese, Janet, I should go underweight. Debería de rebajar. I should go underweight. I should too. I should too. So should I. So should I. ¿Y qué estaría diciendo? Yo debería también o también yo debería. 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 debería siempre debería. Ajá. Sí se entendió, chicos. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Come on, guys. Y en, en español, teacher, el ejemplo del apple pie, ¿cómo sería en español las tres oraciones? Yo amo el pie de manzana. Ajá. Y de ahí sería yo también. Yo también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También yo. Ok. <ríe> yo también. Okay. También yo. Se, suena confuso, ¿eh? Pero hay que entender la posición de ese tú, de ese so. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary, two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. Okay. Como dijo la doña Florinda, la misma gata revolcada, ¿eh? So, we, we are still talking. Estamos hablando de lo mismo. ¿Sí? Either va al final. Negative statements. Negative statements. ¿Ok? Y neither, con N, neither va al principio. Es como to va al final. Y so va al principio. Either va al final. Neither al principio. Y ambos. Exacto. Muy bien. Muy bien, José. Trata, Juan, Juan, trata de, de traducirlo primero. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Yo no tengo hambre. No tengo hambre. Uh -huh. Ok. O más bien, no estoy hambriento. No estoy hambriento. Ok. I am not either. Sería. Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Perfecto, Juan. No dudes. Neither am I. Tampoco yo. Sí. Ahí está. Bien, yo. Tampoco yo. Ojo. Tampoco, tampoco. yo. Estamos. Eh, esto es negative agreements. Negative agreements. Eh, concordar negativamente. Tú y yo estamos de acuerdo yes. en algo negativo. That's the point. Para eso se ocupa either and neither. Estamos de acuerdo en algo negativo. Ok. Let's continue. Um, Marilyn. ¿Qué se me hizo? Where is she? Reyes, no lo he escuchado hoy, don Reyes. Marilyn, can you translate I don't dance salsa? I don't either. Hoy, I don't either. I don't either. 
Neither do I, neither do I. How will you translate to Spanish this? I don't dance salsa. No bailo salsa. O, o yo no puedo bailar salsa. Mm -mm. Bueno, que yo me apoye Reyes. <laughs> yo no bailo salsa, dice Marlene. No, Marley. no bailo salsa. Yeah, ok. Bien, chicos. Yo tampoco. Muy bien. Yo tampoco, muy bien. ¿Y la otra, Reyes? Este... Tampoco no podemos. Ajá, tampoco, tampoco yo. yo. Perfect, ahí está. Ok. Um, Sofía, I can't swim. Yo no puedo nadar. Ok. Noé, I can either. No puedo tampoco. What about neither tampoco can I? Puedo. Tampoco yo. Tampoco puedo yo. Tampoco yo. Tampoco yo. Very good. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, we have two answers, two different negative answers using either, but I can use, for example, if someone says, I can't swim, and I say, neither can I. In positive? No, pregunto. Mm -hmm. Como tenemos dos estructuras, ¿verdad? Para decir ni yo tampoco. ¿Puedo utilizar cualquiera de las dos o este orden debo de utilizar? Cualquiera de las dos. El punto acá, Nuria, y gracias por preguntar, es darse cuenta que si uno dice I can't, va a ocupar either. Si uno dice can, sería neither can I. No puedo mm -hmm. decir either can I. Es que ocurre mucho, por eso esta lección, ¿eh? I can ah, either, ok, sí, ya le comprendí. Either, right? Sí, ajá, ya. Cuidado con eso, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Let's look at the structure. Dan salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice, neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, so watch the video again on the on the portal y alguien me decía teacher qué es lo que yo tengo que hacer todos los días yo no entiendo teacher qué es lo que tengo que hacer todos los días ok tratar de conquistar el mundo le dije eh, tiene que venir acá ok al foro de discusión y a escribir abajo del foro for example yesterday well the topics al final aparece add post. Ustedes pueden agregar un post y empezar una discusión. Es más, pueden agregarle título acá, neither. ¿Cuál es el título acá? Vamos a ver, going out for dinner. Agregar alguna pregunta sobre la, la conversación para que el otro compañero la conteste. El punto es de que ustedes interactúen. Esto solo es otro canal para que ustedes interactúen entre sí. ¿Ok? Esa es una. Okay. Y la otra, the knowledge check. Esto. Por ejemplo, acabamos de ver neither, either. So, I'm not crazy about French food. Now you know, this is a negative, right? Okay? Yes. So, you could say neither what? Neither do I. Mm, do? Neither. Um, neither I'm not. Neither I'm am not. I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Am I. Mm -hmm. Very good. O, ¿cómo era la otra opción? I am neither. Either. I'm not either. I'm not either. either. Very good. Great. Y eso se trata de este, este knowledge check. Y ojo, eh, ya vamos en la sección 3. Esta semana la terminamos. Nos queda para okay. mañana. Hasta el, hasta el jueves, hoy llegamos hasta el jueves 
llegaríamos hasta acá. Model verbs, would, okay. and will for requests. Y vienen más. Luego viene una prueba de medio, eh, medio curso. Creo que ya están familiarizados con eso, ¿no? Okay. Yes. Ok, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Please have some sleep. Okay. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.